Boom, guys. Um, just recovering after the Christmas, New Year. Um, I've got to be honest, I've had two weeks of not doing a lot, um, which is unusual for me. Uh, spend a bit of, well, spend most of the time around the family. Um, switch the computer off for some days as well, which is really unusual. Because I normally, like, check my emails at, at, at best. You know, that's my absolute minimum. Uh, but I've even some days not even checked emails. But as you can see, I'm still a bit tired. Still got the flu. And today, the van is giving up the ghost. Um, it's, it's a sad day for the van. A sad day. Um, I think it's... I'm not going to bother getting it fixed. I think it's time for it to go off to pastures new dismantled and put into other vans or whatever um it's a bit frustrating because obviously it cuts down on my mobility right now but at the same time don't really need it um so i'm sort of looking today at some new vehicles but spain's second-hand vehicles can be quite expensive um i think it's because there's like transfer taxes and stuff so a lot of people hold on to vehicles because there's taxes associated for every time you sell it um so I can understand why you may just keep hold of a car until it's like that and only with scrap value now, um, simply because you pay tax for selling it on to somebody else. But this all gets me on to, there's been, I think, two or three people brought up about depression in the last few weeks. Um, I mean... The thing with depression, I, I know some people that suffer with it. Um, myself, I I can't relate to the extent some people suffer with things. Myself, I've sort of given myself a slap in the face and snapped myself out of it. So I, I can't relate how to how some people get um, into a situation that can control their lives. I can't do that. Um, but what I can say is how I avoid that sort of scenario for myself, which is limit where you're getting the negative stuff from. Um, you're, I mean, you like here, you get YouTube trolls and whatever. They don't bother me whatsoever. Um, I mean, they, they spend a lot of time creating new accounts just to make a comment to get banned, blocked, and deleted again. But at the same time, it only takes me two seconds to get rid of them. Um, doesn't bother me in the slightest. So things like that, if it does bother you, do that. You don't have to engage with them. Um, if you're, you've got people around you that are very negative, is it something you can change? Is it a workplace problem? Is it a relationship issue? Because um, I know in the UK, I've come across people that have some very strange relationships where they're almost subservient sometimes. And it's not all man, woman, woman, man. You know, it's... It's, it can also be around jealousy. It can be around uh, insecurity complexes. or And even with that, it's either feeding it or um, they're suffering with somebody making them feel insecure. So it's, it's a f depression's a complex beast. But I think the main thing you have to do with that is actually focus on what is depressing you? And I know some people will say, Matt, I do not know. Matt, it's, I just feel empty. I just do. That's a feeling, but something gets you to that feeling. Now, I can understand some people have loneliness issues. I, I can understand some people have um, anxieties, you know, about going outdoors and things like that. But... One of the things you need to do is actually confront those issues because you need to turn around and stop them controlling your life. Now, I know it's not easy, but it's the only way you can actually change that is actually to take these things head on and do it in small steps. And I'm not saying you have to do things overnight. It's a bit like um, I had a couple of friends a while back that... They sort of lost it relating to relationships. Uh, and with the online dating, it, I mean, they, some rough women out there, that's all I can say. But um, at the same time, they, they eventually 
met people they actually got on with. Um, but for years, they'd been single. And it was sort of a case of, you could see it affected, because they actually wanted companionship. I mean, they, the guys are, I mean, they're okay guys. They, they work, work a lot. They have their own houses, etc. But the, the problem they have is they don't have a good social group. They don't um, mix too well. You know, they're not people that like to go to nightclubs and stuff like that. So their social connections is mainly around other workmen. You know, for example, the, uh, t- well, they're engineers. So the social group is other engineers. And they may go out drinking, having a few beers, whatever, have a laugh, but they don't really connect with others. Um, but they found online dating works, even though it's one of those things where they were worried about the stigma attached to it. And one of the things I said, I did say to him, is like, who cares? You know, at the end of the day, who cares? It's a bit like um, uh, Paul. There's a group of us out one night, and Paul wasn't there. And they said, because his wife's from Thailand. Um, and somebody made the joke that he was under the thumb, and he couldn't get in because he didn't have a tie. You know, it's that, that sort of working banter um and i i just said to the guys i says look he's going home to a beautiful wife she's already cooked dinner for him you guys are all all out out here all single all out trying to find a, a girl for the night or whatever he's he's already got his dinner cooked his slippers worn by the fire and who's laughing you know at the end of the day it's all what you want in life you know, at the end of the day, you've got to go out there and get it. You've got to take it. You've got to work with the tools that you're given. You know, um, it's it's a bit like here in Spain. I still struggle to learn Spanish, and I know it's my problem, and I know I do not put enough dedicated time into it because uh, quite simply, like today, I've got seven different things to do, and the van has lost me my entire morning. But the, the point being is, that's an excuse. At the end of the day, if I want to learn Spanish, I need to make sure I dedicate time to it. So the only person who's responsible for that is me. It's not me saying everyone should speak English. It's not me saying it's too hard. It's me saying it's my responsibility. I need to dedicate more time to it. I need to learn. In the same way, it's pretty much the same with everything. If you're suffering with depression, something is causing that. Something has caused that. It could be a loss, a family loss. But you need to manage how that is affecting your life. You need to understand that the person that you don't have anymore wouldn't want you being the way you are. That should be your focus, to turn around and show them that you're moving on, but at the same time, they're not forgotten. You're, you're doing it in a way to turn around and say to them, you know what, I want to make you proud of me. I want to make you see that I haven't forgot you, but I need to get on with my life. I need to achieve something in my life. And I know some of this stuff's very hard. That's why I say I don't really understand depression too much at that level that some people get to. Um, I could understand that some people just, for some reason, just wake up and there's just nothing. They just feel down and everything else. But I get some days like that. I'm suffering with flu at the moment. So every day I'm waking up coughing and spluttering, waking up in the middle of the night. So I'm waking up tired in the morning, hence the eye still. Um, But I go, you know, get up, the stuff to do. Don't focus on the negative stuff. Focus on the stuff you need to do. And they, they, you just switch your mind off it. Just, I know some people say, I can't do that. I can't do that. You need to retrain your mind in that way to say, okay, I don't, you know, like, I don't feel like it today. I don't. I really don't. Instead of doing that, just go, I've got to go to the library today. I've got to go and get my 
shopping. I've got to go and do something. You focus on, I have to. I have to. Not excuses, not stuff that brings you down. It's like going outside. Um, my mate Rob, for example, he found out he had a vitamin D deficiency because he spent too much time in the office and at home. So he was going to, going to work in the dark and coming home in the dark, and he wasn't going out in the sun enough. He's realized that going for a walk every day, that gives him that vitamin D, which also makes him feel more positive. So there is certain things you can do that can improve your life, like going for a walk, setting your, setting your clock every day, alarm goes off, 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever time, you go out and you walk for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes even. The main thing is you create a routine where you're making change that is positive. Um, I suppose that's my message for this year, 2018, is if you want to do something, do it. Make that change. Make that positivity. You know, like I'm saying, my van's broke down. I'm not sitting here crying about it. At the end of the day, I'm just going to go, you know what? That van has lasted us three years. For, some, for what it cost, I'm not complaining. That would have cost more than that in interest if I'd bought a new car. So at the end of the day, I'm not complaining at all. I'm going to have to get another vehicle, but at the same time, that's life. We move on. It's not luck. It's not karma. It's nothing out of the ordinary. These things happen to everybody. And that's the other thing you've got to realize, that these things happen to everybody. Don't assume that you're being picked on or something else. Life doesn't work that way. There's been so many things done on luck as well that shows that people are just as lucky as each other. I know some people say, well, some people are more lucky than that, but it actually works out about the same. On average, everybody's the same. So you're just as lucky as everybody else. Motivate yourself. Motivate yourself that you're in good health. You've got two hands, got two legs, two eyes, two ears. And those positive things, the stuff you have got, don't focus on what you don't have. There's too much stuff in the world. Well, I could leave it at that. There is too much stuff in the world, too much crap, too much stuff that we are told we need, we want, we desire. In reality, it doesn't make you happy. What makes you happy is the smallest stuff. The happiest people I know have got the least amount of stuff. The most content people I know are just living a life without worry. Um, they have enough to pay their bills and that's it. Because they, at the end of the day, most of the stuff we're built on is debt these days. So I know that could be a very negative in anxiety, sleepless nights uh, situation to be in. But do you know what you need to do? is focus on the problem. Focus on the problem. If you've got too much debt and you have no way of paying it and you've got, you're struggling to feed yourself, whatever, look at how you can consolidate debts. Look at how you can manage debts. Go into something like moneysupermarket.com. Is it money supermarket? Yeah, I think it's moneysupermarket.com. <coughs> <coughs> there are people out there that will help you. There's people in the same situation. There's people that know how to fill out the legal forms. Because I'll tell you now, banks... Credit card companies, mortgage lenders, the one thing they are all scared of is the word bankrupt. So they all want to help you help them. So do not bury your head in the sand. You can come out of this ahead of the game. You can turn around, get everything pushed together, reduce the interest, etc., etc., freeze the debt. There's different ways of doing it. Speak to experts on this, and they will help you get through this because they'll even cut some of the debt up. You know, at the end of the day, they do not want you going bankrupt. Bankrupt, I mean, I, I know countries are different, but in the UK, it puts everything at zero. You know, at the end of the day, people go, oh, yeah, but you might want to buy a house in the future. Well, if we've just written off £200,000 worth of debt, don't really care. You know, that, that, that's the reality. You know, at the end of the day, some people may actually be like that. They've got so much debt that they would never get be able to afford a house in the future anyway. But... If they get everything back to zero, they could even save it. I mean, that's the reality. One of the things I do find myself is having zero debt is my ability to have extra funds more than mo most people is very easy because 
I don't have a car loan. I don't have a credit card. I don't have a mortgage. Um, okay, we've got rent, but <coughs> wait for this year. There, there, there'll be some changes coming on that very soon. Um, but the, the point being is you try to reduce your debts all the time. Um, there's a lot of stuff we could live without. I mean, like, like this argument with Orange Mobile, for example. I do not want a mobile phone. The, um, the only reason it was tied in with the package is it was the same price. And now they're trying to make me have it. But the, the point being is I prefer it pay as you go because I just top it up once every three months because I don't really call anybody. I use WhatsApp um, or Skype or this. I don't actually use the telephone. Um, that's reality. The, life's moved on since the old Alexander Bell. Um, but anyway, I'm going way off topic. So hope everyone has a great 2018 and just stay focused. Get yourself focused, get motivated. And I wouldn't say New Year's resolutions because uh, I don't think that it works. I think you, you've got to do it in more of a process or baby steps for the, the majority of people. Um, so dealing with it, it I would say... Instead of New Year's resolutions, list your problems and then list your solutions. And then have a list of goals, what you want to achieve this year. And having one which may even project into next year. Um, just get your, just spend a bit of time on yourself. Spend an hour just working out where you want to be for 2019. Just put everything out there. You know, want my credit card paid off want a new car, want to save for my daughter's university, whatever it is. Because once you start putting it in place, you start focus on making it happen. And that's why I say, you know, when people wake up in the morning all depressed and are just like, oh, you need to change that. And I know it's not an easy step, but you need to stop doing that and just completely ignore it and just go, I need to go and do this today. And if you haven't got stuff to do, start listing some stuff that you can do on a daily basis. Even if you're going out for a walk for five minutes a day, that little change is a big step. And I know some people um, struggle to go outdoors, but just doing these little things a bit at a time will help you over a longer period. There is no rush on this. You only have one life, though. You're living it. Enjoy it. So if you're not enjoying it, how...